This is the second item that I wanted to show. I'm probably going to split this up in the two videos. So this is the receipt holder. I have both the receipts for the previous item that I quickly showed and this item which is I put on top. So this one, again I have this receipt which is the credit card. They have a separate machine for the credit card. I'm just blocking out the um, personal information. This is from their flagship store, Avenue Montan in Paris and this is the item that I got. The price I pay for it, and they also show you what's the tax. Same thing that I said on my other video. So Dior, their shops use tax free because if you don't live in e the European Union, you can get part of your tax back. I believe it's for these kind of goods, it's 12%. Um, but I've had really bad experience with tax free and I didn't get any of my tax back. Whereas the other items I bought from Global Blue, I, quick, I received them pretty promptly. Um, the video that I did on the Louboutins, they used tax-free and unfortunately I didn't get the tax back for that either, which kind of sucked. For the Louis Vuitton items from the Nemeth collection, I did get all my tax back, which was great. So this is the item in question. This, they're using, this is the font that the new creative director is using. It's no longer the Helvetica, but it's still not consistent across everything. You can probably kind of tell from the box size and the title of this video what it is. So that's the box and this is the case that it comes in. So same font treatment that's kind of, it feels like it's almost cut in it. It's a magnetic case, velvet lined in velvet. It's probably hard to see the details because of course it doesn't reflect light. And these pair of sunglasses I purchased. So these are the Composite 1.0. It's made out of titanium, which is why it's so thin and light. And they have these kind of rectangle tails at the end. It has CD on the the nose the nose pads. The lens in the frame is basically one single piece of um, polycarbonate, I'm assuming. It's definitely not glass. And then it's really hard to see, but um, on the side, what the name is. But they have the, they actually have the model number etched on the lens here. And you can see these are highly reflective. This is like a blue color. It's a little less severe on the other side though. The other side is more of a mirror finish. But depending on how the light hits it, sometimes you do get more of the blue in the front as well. I, I forget which, they have multiple calls for this, but I forget which one this was. I think this was the gray color. And I purchased this actually seeing on a blog, the 3F.com. And I was a little skeptical at first, but when I saw them in person and I tried them on, I thought they looked really cool. And I've gotten compliments kind of every time I wear them out and people will ask me, where did you get these? What brand are they? And one person actually knew, he pretty much knew what it was. The only thing um, if I can criticize is I don't really like the box that it comes in. It's it's a tight fit. You kind of have to maneuver the, the arms. I know if they're bendable, but you kind of have to maneuver them in order to get them to fit inside. So I wish this was a little bigger so that I didn't have to keep kind of tucking it in because you'll see the arms spring out when I take them out because they're actually bigger than the box. I wanted to just give a little bit more detail of the glasses. Here's the model name 
etched into the inside of the lens. The, the end of the arm. Here's one of the hinges. These are of course extremely fingerprint prone, but they can be polished off. 